Hey guys, how's it going? I just want to talk about something real quick, and I feel like a real party pooper doing this, but this video is meant for more um, medical users of cannabis that get the medical marijuana through the government's new format, which is signing up for a dispensary, and if you don't have, have a designated grower, um, that that's what this video is going to quickly be about. Um, now I want to talk about your friends that may try, friends or family that may try and take advantage of you. I'm fortunate and I've had nobody, uh, try to take advantage of me, um, with my medical, uh, cannabis card. Um, there has been, you know, people going, whoa, you know, well, can you, can, can you get me some, can you do this with friends of mine? Um, and, um, they very, uh, affirmly say no. There was actually, unfortunately, a friend of mine that didn't find the right form of cannabis for himself. So, and he got tired of people bugging them and asking them to order weed for them. So, he got rid of his card. Um, you will hear that. Whether it's medical cannabis or Oxycontin, you will, or any painkiller that you get from the doctor, you'll hear all kinds of, um, questions or hints, um, and I'm just gonna get, like, look, I feel like a real party pooper doing this video, but I'm just looking out for people that have medical cannabis cards specifically, the new form of medical cannabis cards. Now, if you're a member of a uh, church organization or you have your own spiritual beliefs about marijuana and you've got spiritual friends that smoke, like the um, the First Church of Cannabis out in Florida and stuff like that, and you got, like, I'm not, I've never personally met the woman, but she's pretty cool. Um, that, um, Um, if you have spiritual friends that, uh, use cannabis and, and you get it from, like, let's say a street source, that's your own responsible, uh, that's, that's your own choice to, to smoke with them, and I'm not gonna, you know, you gotta be, um, careful, cause ironically, if you're passing the, the, joint or a bong technically that's considered trafficking so make sure you're not in a precarious uh position or place um and again like i you know canvas brings people together there's there's you know people smoke in jamaica um jamaica is a very friendly country i've met some people from there um that have recently moved to Canada, um, you know, so I, again, I feel like a party pooper, I'm not trying to say you can't share a joint between friends, but that's your own choice, I choose not to, because, um, I use it for medical purposes, and, and with the way the government is, I'm not losing my right to smoke, now, when it becomes legal in Canada, and if it's like, say, something like a cigarette, where you're, you know, hey, can I bum a smoke? Instead, of maybe it'd be something like, hey, can we uh, smoke a joint? Then maybe share it then. If you gotta go to the LCBO and buy it, which they wanna, um, people are being dumb, and personally, in my opinion, they're saying that, you know, let's sell cannabis at the LCBO. Uh, dumb, stupid. That's my opinion. Um, now, you'll also hear it about Oxycontins or any kind of those pills too. Like I have friends of mine that have it for their own medical reasons and they get bugged all the time. Like, oh, I'm out of my pill. Can I get a couple pills off you? Or, oh, uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm stuck. I need it. I'm sore. I'm, uh. No. Let me plain and simply say that if you've got a medical card or you've got Oxycontin for medical reasons or anything for medical reasons, don't 
A true friend or a true respectful family member won't be like, hey, 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 come on, hey. You know what I mean? Um, so you got to protect you. Do do I think as a, as a believer of cannabis that we should be able to uh, smoke with friends um, that might, that might um, use it for spiritual reasons or medical reasons? Do I think that we should be able to share um, if it's for a social purpose and not a purpose of like getting quote unquote fucked up or trying to keep up with your buddies and getting stoned? Do I think we should have the right to share cannabis? Yes, because it was one of God's gifts and it's one of God's plants. But as it currently stands, if you've got your medical card, you can't really do that. So I'm just, for anybody that's new to this, I'm just saying true, you will hear this. Don't be naive and don't think you won't hear the questions or the insinuations or the uh, you know, maybe you should give me some, or maybe you should go to your doctor. Stand your ground, okay? And I'm, again, you don't have to listen to me. You can do whatever you want, but I'm just looking out for new people that got the medical card. In the current new-ish format that the government has it, which is the dispensaries and stuff like that. Um, but again, I'm not trying to be a party pooper. I do think we should be allowed to, you know, it, it, I do think we should be allowed to, like, let, let's use this for an example. If if you want to sum, celebrate the summer solstice or the winter solstice and you want to get have a couple prayers and smoke and smoke with, like, say, another spiritual user, then yeah, I do think you should be allowed to. Do I think on New Year's that you should smoke a joint rather than get completely wasted? Maybe sit at the table with a buddy and say, you know, I appreciate you, bro, and smoke a joint? Absolutely. But I never do because I'm not losing my license for nobody. And actually, standing my ground has made me really... I'm proud of myself because I've learned to stand up for myself and I've learned to stand up to people that may try to take advantage of your friendship. So, in in more than a medical reason or a spiritual reason, having my medical card has really helped me become assertive. So, that, you know, just take or leave whatever I say and it's up to you. <laughs>